Now that we've got somewhere to sit, we need to add some wheels to our car. Otherwise, all we've made is a fancy looking bench. So before we actually add the wheels, we're just going to create an area for those wheels to sit. So we're just going to create some wheel arches down by these little bits that stick out. If you remember, this is going to be an amphibious car. So we need an area for the wheels to sit within. In my imagination for this concept car, these wheels will tuck in once the car is in water. So to start off, we are going to create a sketch and we're going to create it on this mid plane that we added before. What we're going to do is we're going to use the circle tool. Just to me, that seems like a really sensible shape for a wheel. What we're going to do is place it just below the center of these areas. I'm just going to pick a sensible size. So I'm just going to go with a nice round number of 350. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to add another circle. I'm going to hover over the center of our other circle and just drag this along. This just means our wheels are actually going to be aligned. And again, I'm going to make this the same size, keep it nice and simple. From here, that's all we need. We're going to finish that sketch. I'm going to look at it from a home view. As you can see, these circles are currently sat on that mid plane. So they're currently sat in the middle of our car. Now, in terms of my design with keeping the wheels nice and hidden and watertight, what I want to do is I want to have those wheel arches just on the edge. So extruding these all the way through is not quite going to work. So we need to think a little bit outside the box on this. Still going to use the extrude tool, however, so we're just going to click that from the create menu. And we're going to select those two sketches that we've just added. So again, we can hide bodies if that's going to make it easier. And then just turn these back on. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a symmetric extrude. So it's going to come off at each direction by the same amount. Another really important one and a really good one to get used to using is this one, the start. This just controls where the extrude is actually going to take place. What we're going to select is offset. What we can do is we can start to extrude this out a little bit. And again, the operation is going to go to cut to show us that it's removing material. This is the one that we want. Next, rather than setting the distance of our extrude, we are going to set the distance of the offset plane. So I'm just going to start off with approximately how wide the design is. So at the minute, that is cutting through this wheel arch almost as effectively as I'd like it to. But with this one, it needs to come out that little bit further. So I'm just going to keep adding a bit to this until I get it to where it needs to be. Again, 600, not quite. So I'm just going to go to 650 instead. Could even look at this from a slightly different angle just to make sure I'm fully happy with it. Once I am, just click on OK and it's going to add that there just so we can have our wheels. Now, now that we've done that, just to make things a bit easier, because these extrude out at a slightly different size, just extrude these slightly in and then just do the exact same on the other side. 